It was started by somebody. Did she get an order of protection against you? We both had one. No, no. Yes, she did. She did? Yes. She filed for protective order. Mm -hmm. Did you have a hearing? Yes. And was she granted a protective order? Yes. Did you file a protective order? Yes. Did you get a protective order? They put a temporary, yes. Not temporary. Did you ultimately get a protective order? Yes. Let me see it. For how long? Until we actually had our hearing. Did you have a hearing? Yes. Is my question. Now, what happened after the hearing? After the hearing. It was dismissed. It was dismissed. Correct. So, she filed for protective order, you had a hearing. Court heard that testimony, because it all relates to the same night, mm -hmm. and her protective order was granted. After she filed for protective order, you filed for protective order. You had a hearing. Mm -hmm. Court heard your testimony. I assume you brought any witnesses that you wanted to hear. No, my witness wasn't able to make it. I suppose you brought any witness with all these people who were around who would have testified on your behalf. Court heard the testimony and dismissed your application for a protective order. Said you didn't need it. Didn't believe you. Now I'll see the tape. Your Honor, we also have now, a voicemail also. Andrea Coleman, like maybe 10 minutes after the fight, when she talked about what had happened and I got what I deserved. And it's very vulgar. I, I don't know if you want to hear it here in court. Oh, well, I love vulgarity. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see in that tape, Your Honor, I'm not moving. That's me with my hands up, not moving. Andrea's at my head and Antoinette is on top of me. You see my legs is not moving at this time, Your Honor. But your arms are? Yeah, because you're shaking me. Are you wearing the green sweater? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. This is the guy pulling her off of me, Your Honor. And now he's exiting her out the door. We were never out. No, he the wasn't door. exiting me. Shh, don't. Someone else was. Don't. So you was outside the door again. What injuries did you suffer? Your Honor, um, I have my, I have pictures also. Actually, I'd like to see them. I have of uh, the before and the after. I still have the scar on my forehead and also on my legs. I also have a um, medical. I went straight to the doctor. Um, after I took those pictures in the ambulance and I went to the hospital, I had um, various injuries to my head where she pulled Was out my hair. Are these stitches in your forehead? No, that's actually a dent which I still have in my head from where I hit my head on something which made me pass out. I have a condition called Chiari malformation, which caused you to be dizzy and unstable. I had two brain surgeries after this incident. I would never attack her when I'm already um, dealing with instability. I would and like to hear the voice message. Did you call her? Yes. And she was there. She oh, was yeah, the one she standing was, she was there. She at, was the at your one head. In my head. Right. I'd mm -hmm. like to hear her. You have two saved messages. Saved message. At the end of the day, tell your pump. I can't hear that. Miss Coleman, all I have to do is tell you this. You are defined by your language. That's not even me on that phone call. Who is it? I don't know. That's not you? That is not me on that phone call. She said she called Barnetta, not her. That's somebody else's <laughs> phone. Listen to the phone number. Ask Barnetta what's her phone number. That was Andrea Coleman, and she also works at the hospital. And? So that's how she acts. Okay. It's a relatively easy case for me. Court of competent jurisdiction has already heard your complaint against each other, found in favor of the plaintiff. I'm going to do the same. Judgment for the plaintiff in the amount of $5,000. We're done. Thank you. Why is our excuse when they step out? Because Barnetta is a busybody and she likes to be in stuff that don't have nothing to do with her. Well, actually, I'm very happy that she's seen the truth and knew that that was the truth because she was speaking on things that didn't have nothing to do with her. These women are very vicious and she threw the first blow. By the voicemail, you can hear they're, they're dangerous. She got what she deserved.